good evening everybody um today i will be presenting uh, a study that we uh, did here which is a comparison of retiplase and urokinase uh, for uh, pharmacomechanical thrombolysis of uh, clotted hemodialysis axes uh, in the indian esrd population so uh, basically percutaneous pharmacomechanical thrombolysis uh, we are increasingly using to salvage thrombosed uh, hemodialysis axes and the uh, national kidney foundation uh, it recommends using urokinase to clear the thrombus before we can progress to further invasive or costly procedures so urokinase was withdrawn from the market and uh, alternative thrombolytic agents uh, are undergoing evaluation so altiplase was approved by the fda for uh, central venous catheter clearance but we have only limited data tenecteplase has also been used in various studies so uh, we have been using retiplase which is a third generation uh, tpa uh, agent and uh, like urokinase it also initiates thrombolysis uh, and catalyzes the cleavage of plasminogen which breaks down the fibrin matrix of the thrombus however there has been no data regarding the utility of retiplase for uh, dysfunctional catheters and fistulas especially in the uh, especially in india so the purpose of our study was to prospectively evaluate the efficacy and safety of retiplase uh with percutaneous uh, angioplasties in the treatment of a thrombosed naive av fistula or and uh ptfe grafts as well so along with this we retrospectively compared retiplase with urokinase in terms of uh, efficacy cost and uh, adverse e events so at the time of submission of this abstract we had enrolled 16 patients Uh, 18 procedures in 14 naive AV fistulas and two in AV grafts were performed. Uh, however, I am happy to say that we have enrolled many more patients now. We are close to I think 50 to 60 uh, as of uh, yesterday or today. So we used five units of retiplase and uh, 10,000 units of heparin, which were administered into the grafts and uh, fistulas. so the thrombosed axes they were screened initially with a vascular ultrasound and uh, decision for ultrasound guided retiplase uh, alone or a combination with an angioplasty was made on the basis of the lesion and the uh, burden of the thrombus that we saw so after introducing this uh, we went ahead with a routine venography and a uh, percutaneous angioplasty for the stenotic lesions which were the primary cause for the thrombosis so immediately after this uh, we take up the patients for hemodialysis once the procedure is over so we were able to achieve technical success in 96% of the cases and uh, two cases uh, had uh, repeat thrombosis because of uh, poor outflow and uh, minor complications were seen in only 10% of the cases with retiplase in the form of uh, minor bleeding and one patient had a hematoma which was managed conservatively uh, no major complications uh, were observed so far so in a retrograde analysis of 24 patients were treated with urokinase for thrombosed av fistulas uh, the technical uh, success rate was 88% four cases had uh, repeat thrombosis because of poor outflow and need for a new graft uh, one patient only had an ic bleed and again minor complications were seen in 10% so the cost for uh, urokinase uh, was around 60 us dollars whereas retiplase uh, is currently costing us around uh, 46 us dollars which is around 3750 rupees uh, however we are still uh, actively working on uh, working with the company to give us specialized vials which will contain five units of retiplase or even lesser so the cost is definitely going to come down so in conclusion uh, retiplase in conjunction with heparin and uh, angioplasty is a safe and effective measure for uh, thrombolysis of av grafts and to proceed with the stenosis so the efficacy as compared to urokinase is relatively better and considering that urokinase is a first generation thrombolytic uh, the propensity for systemic bleeding is uh, much more because it is non specific relatively non specific as compared to retiplase uh, whereas retiplase is fibrin specific and has a better safety profile and efficacy so far so these initial results have shown that retiplase can be the thrombolytic agent of choice for thrombolysis of fistulas and grafts uh, thank you thank you dr atish for the excellent presentation uh, girish are you presenting any more uh, abstracts from from your side thank you sir